Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at how we can list out the connections that are made from our system. Along with that we will also look at the source port translation during the PAT. So let's begin. We will be dividing this video into three sections. In the first section we will look at how we can use the lsof command to list out all the connections that has been made up from our system. In the second section we will look at that when any connection is made with the system present within our private network then address or port address translation does not occur. So we will notice that source IP address and source port will remain same when communication or connection is being made within our private network. And in the third section we will make the connection in the public internet and we will notice that the ports and the address are getting translated. Now let's see the first section of the video in which we are going to use the lsof command that is the list of file commands. This dash i option is for ipv4 or ipv6 files. So if I press enter at this moment you will see no established connection has been made. To make a connection I am running another device into the virtual environment using the VMware player and here the IP address of this system is 192.168.1.6 and at this moment in this particular system the SSH service is running. So if I write here system CTL status and after that if we give here SSH dot service then you will see this service is running at this moment. So what I am going to do from my host system I am going to make a connection that is SSH connection to this particular system. So I will write here SSH then test at the rate 192.168.1.6. Let's press enter and it will ask me for the password. So let's give the password and the connection has been established. Now I will also make a connection to one of the open FTP servers. So in the Google you can type out that list of open FTP servers and from there you can select any server and connect to it without any password. So I am going to give here FTP and will provide the server URL with the FTP protocol and it is going to connect me with this particular FTP server without any password. Just like this URL there are lot of URLs that are openly available right. So this connection has been established. So we have one FTP connection and we have the one SSH connection. And if we run the same command here lsof and then the dash i, you will see that in the connection list, these connections will be shown along with their source IP and source port and destination and destination port. So if we view the output, then we will notice that from our source IP that is 192.168.1.7 and from the source port 34110, we have established a connection to the 1.6 that is a local system in our private network and the protocol is SSH. Similarly, we had made another connection with the protocol as FTP, right? In both of the cases, we are able to see the source port and also the destination protocol. Now by default it is giving us the domain name and also the protocol names. But let's say we don't want to show them rather than giving it we want to have the proper IP address and instead of protocol we need to define the port number. So for that we can give the option here as dash capital P and also the dash N. So in this case you will see the port number for the SSH is 22 while for the FTP connection it is the 21 and we will notice that URL is also in the IP form right. Now let's see the second section of the video in which we are going to make a connection to the local system present in our private network and we will notice that the source address and the source ports are not getting translated. For that we have hosted a website into this dot six server and the website will tell us what is the source IP address and what is the source port number. So if we view the content of the files that are hosted into this web server. So let me go to the where www.html and also the myfile.php. So into this file we will notice that we had written a very basic PHP script 
that will give me output as source IP and it is going to print me the remote address. Remote address means that it will give the IP that is making the connection. Now beneath that we will see that again we had written a very short PHP script that will tell us the remote port right and at this moment if we view the status of Apache right the Apache is running so our web server is also running. Now if we open up the Chrome browser and let's make a connection to that system that has the IP address as 192.168.1.6 on which our web server is running and the file name is myfile.php. So it will give me the source IP address that is making the connection. So in this case it is dot .7 and the source port number right and if we go to our terminal and give the same command right and let me grab here 192.168.1.7 right so in this particular case you will notice that various connection is being made from our system and one of the connection was from dot .7 to dot .6 on port number 80 so basically whatever the connection we are making to our web server so in this particular case the port number 48920 has been used now let's see the third section of the video in which we are going to make the connection to outside of the private network and we will notice that our source IP and source port will get translated. So I have hosted the same website into a public domain right which will also give me the same output that what is the source IP address and what is the private IP address. So currently my source IP address if you will see it is showing 223.177. 36.12 so any connection that I am making outside of the internet between them our router is changing the private source IP with the public IP address similarly my source port is also getting translated for that we will run the same command that is lsofi dash i capital P n so what I am going to do let's resolve this particular host name to find its equivalent IP so I am going to write here host and then the domain name right so the IP address of our server is 185.27.134.139 and here we are making some connection right at one time we are using the source port as 48558 and in the another time we are using the 60 but no such port has been shown here why it is happening because the router in between while doing the pad that is port address translating is changing my source IP address and also changing my source port address. That is the reason when this particular web server that is residing into the public network gets this connection it is having the source port different to the source port defined by my system right. Now here the IP address is 223.177.36.12 because this is my public IP address. If I give here what is my IP address then it is going to give me the same public IP address that is 223.177.36.12 and the same has been provided by the web server right. So with that we can conclude that whenever the pet is happening then our source IP and the source port is getting translated and whenever the connection is happening within our local network then no source address or no source port is getting translated so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video